Hello, the Ipecat here, and today we are going to be designing, um, putting, designing the um, patterns underneath the track. This is for model rail. This is for a model railway, as you can clearly see. Let's get started. So first, you'll wanna, you'll wanna get the trains out. Second, take the, if you have a shed, take the shed out, just put it wherever you want, and now we have to mark the track. Step three, marking the track. Right, to mark the track you could use a sharpie or you could use paint, but that'll get on the track, so I'm using sharpie. So what you got to do is just get in there in the small gaps and just... Leave tiny, a tiny mark. Undo it till the undo it to the end of the track. If you have a straight, and I have straight, so I'm doing that. So you're just gonna mark it. Okay. Now if you lift it up, you should have your markings. Okay. Now let's move on to step. Five or six or four, whatever step. So step five or six, you'll want to remove the track. So you can see your markings. And then you'll want to grab some some brown paint. You've got to grab some brown paint. And then you just, you got to get a thin brush. Dip it in very lightly, not like what I just did, and mark along it, mark along your linings all the way along. Okay, and when you're done it should look something like this. Okay, so you might want to grab some more paint, just paint it over soft layers. And see, we have these very thin outlines. With the rest of the um, paint on your brush, just go over it like that until you get the nice brown effect you want. Sometimes dipping here, if you do run out, just just easily go around it on the sides. Should look like this when you're finished okay now you can either wait for that to dry or you can just grab your track straight away and don't put it on yet because if you, you might want to change the track design although you probably don't want it now um you can glue it on if you want but just test it see it okay so that beautiful brown effect we've got now you can put the track down, but I'm just going to wait. And now we move on to, cor to the corner, but I'm going to do this. Connector track. Okay, so with the connector track, we just repeat what we did before. We repeat what we did with the track, and we mark out the lining. And with this curved bit, you might want to mark out every single one because you do not, well, at least as far as you can get, because you don't know how curved it's going to be in case you measure it. Well, that's probably what I'm going to do. So when you're finished, you should have these marks in the track. Take it off so you can see. Okay, so once you've taken it off, Make sure you've got it perfectly because you've got the lines here. So you want to repeat everything you did. So you just get the paint. And you might want to paint um, it more brown in the middle underneath where this goes. Because you'll get a better um, effect. So of course grab your brown paint. Oh, oh I forgot to mention. I am using... This um, deck exterior paint, it's from Bunnings. Um, 
you can get some, you can get whatever color you want. You might be doing it in like a desert type and might not be able to do it. So yeah, just this is for um if you have this mat. So okay, let's continue. Okay, here's the hard part: getting the curve right. Actually, you might want to mark out the curve too. So just. Make sure that's right. Okay, so that's what you do when you're um, dealing with these. So you want to mark out the curve so you don't get it too angled. And then you simply go over it like this. By the way, I might go over this. It depends. Just get it nice and in there. Now you can tell I've kind of rushed mine, I'll go over that later. But if you want to connect, you can leave a little bit, but when you just take that off then you can do it and make sure you don't get on the tracks. So then you just want to put it on again, like I've done. And now we're going to get to actual curves. Um, see paint does get under the tracks but it's okay you're not gonna see it okay so you want to do what you did before except you might want to just check the gaps to see um make sure don't don't put your hand down on the paint while it's still wet um so just make sure you actually know where it is my end here you can see the gap so i'm just gonna do what i did gonna mark and you may want to mark most of it not all of it but on each side most of it it's okay if you get on the tracks because they're black and I'm using a black marker you could use brown whatever color you want because you're not gonna see well can't be too too dark because you've got paint so Anyway, let's get to painting. I forgot to mention, see when you've got loose bits like this, it helps with the marks, because you actually know where they go perfectly in, like it ends here, so you know where that goes and where that goes. I didn't do that last time, so I had, very, I had a lot of trouble getting the track back. Anyway, like I said, you've got this, also, do what um, we did last time with the curve. Just do that. Okay, then grab your paint. And just dab it on there like we did last time. Anyway, um, if you live in never mind i was gonna say woodpecker model railways is a great place to go to get this stuff um well, not the paint but the tracks and the scenery actual scenery stuff um it's a great place to go to because they sell beginner sets and everything um it's per personally my favorite model shop um but it's for trains not not anything else so Anyway, like we were doing, just get it all around on the outside. Okay, then you want to test the track. See? There. Okay. Now we're going to do this whole bit together, so... Well, I'm going to do it. I'm just going to pause the video, so... Because I'm pretty sure you're getting a bit bored. But... I'll see you when I'm done. Okay, so I've done it, and you may not like this, but we are going to, I might put the outline of the double engine shed. Um, so here it is without the tracks. Just get it perfectly when you want. I am probably not going to. Yeah, I'm not going to, but if you do want, just do what we did with this and mark out the outline and just paint and yeah so 
anyway, I'll put them on the tracks for you and see how you think. I'll put the tracks on, sorry. Alright, oh, hold on. Yeah, now, if you do get a bit of... You can just faintly see it because the main bit's under here. Um, but now, if you do get paint on the metal, you can wipe it off. Or if you don't want to do that, um, you may want to test it. Okay. We need to test it to make sure that it actually works. Whoops, I'm going to change the track. Um, okay. Okay, it works. Now, um, well, anyway, I think that's it. So, see you later. Bye.